Uh, civil engineers design really anything in infrastructure uh, from water treatment systems to roadways to structures and that's the biggest part I enjoy of it is it's stuff that people use every day but they don't even think about how it ever got built or who designed it. You don't necessarily know or have prior experience when you're working for engineering. You're just not making up as you go but for sure you have to be flexible, you have to learn and I think my internship learning at Harding this project that I'm currently on, the Concrete Canoe, it all really helps you to be well-rounded, adaptable, and like research for yourself. No one's gonna give you the answer necessarily, you've gotta find it for yourself. Trial and error sometimes, so. So preparing students for success is gonna require what we like to think about as two things, a development of their skill set. So that's the technical skills, that's the base of knowledge that we can get here at Harding. Uh, but then there's the professional mindset that we really wanna develop. Uh, the, the world outside, the industry, the built environment, um, it's full of challenges that aren't quite in the back of a textbook. Something that um, I love about our department is just, I would say, it's student chapter. We have a very involved student chapter, so we always have speakers come and it kind of helps give us some insight into what it's like to actually be in the workforce. And um, like I said, it's very broad in terms of like different jobs that you can do, and so we just have people come from like all different fields and kind of explain what it's like in their everyday life working in civil engineering. And also just our opportunities doing like the bridge competition, this year we're doing the concrete canoe. And so many ways to get involved and to actually put those skills to use. Our civil engineering program at Harding University is ABET accredited. Um, that's one of the biggest things for them to be able to get their professional engineering license after they leave here. Uh, so the industry is always looking uh, and putting a premium on programs that have ABET accreditation. Uh, which in Arkansas we're one of the few schools that do have a better accreditation so intentionally looking to kind of promote that because engineering firms and agencies require you to have a track towards your professional engineering license. Civil engineering is, is built on your professional engineering licensure. Harding is really unique in its experience with learning because the class sizes are much more controlled and it's so much easier to feel like learning is much more of a conversation. There's a, so much more room to explore different questions that you have and different hypotheticals where in a much bigger class size, you're kind of lost in the crowd. I also feel like Harding is really good about holding us to a higher standard because of that, because since I'm not really hiding behind anyone in class, my professors know when I don't understand something. And they are really good about reaching out in the middle of class and saying, do you understand this? Do you understand where we are? and making sure that everything that they're teaching is being absorbed by the students. I think one of the special things about Harding is the way that there's such a small faculty that you get to have teachers over and over again. And so my civil professors have had a lot of them, six, seven, eight classes. And so you really get to build a relationship with them that's deeper than just the classroom relationship. And also the shop manager, uh, Kent Miller, when we've been working on projects out in the shop, you know, he always is so invested in our projects and invested in our learning. I've been out in the shop till three or four in the morning and, you know, he's right there at three or four in the morning. And just to have someone that believes in your projects and their success even more than you do sometimes is really encouraging. We are invested in your future and we are invested in your present. And so the neat thing about working here is helping students tie their faith in with their professional sense. And I think they see it, uh, Lord willing, they see it in us and it models for them. Uh, you know, what, what it can look like to be a professional in your, your industry, but also be a spiritual professional, right? And carry both of those together in your tool belt.